So this is coming from the perspective of somebody who is kind of agnostic. I don't really follow a specific religion, but I do believe in a higher power and creation and that kind of thing. It's kind of a mixture of various different beliefs and philosophies combined into one. So I guess I would say I'm more spiritual than religious. That being said, I used to be Christian uh, in the early part of my life, simply because I was kind of brought up that way. So is lucid dreaming a sin? Is it something that, you know, religions frown upon and why? Well, the answer to this is as far as I can see. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. But as far as I can see, no, it, it can't be a sin. There is one exception to that, and I'll get onto that. But the basis of lucid dreaming, all you're really doing is we all dream every night, regardless of what religion you are, even if you don't have a religion. We all dream every night. So there must be some reason for that. You know, no matter what you believe, we were created, at least I believe we were created with the ability to dream and lucid dream for a very, there must have been a specific reason. It's, I don't think it's just an accident. Then the question becomes, well, why were we created in a way where we can lucid dream? And that's an interesting debate. And I don't want to get too much into that because it varies depending on which religion, which uh, philosophy you believe in. But is it a sin? Well, it can't be because what is there in a lucid dream that you could be doing wrong? You're just being aware of an experience that you were already having and waking up that part of your mind. You're, <laughs> you're not doing anything that could potentially be a sin, according to pretty much any religious um, philosophy that I'm aware of, at least. We all dream every night. So being aware of that dream while you're having it, what's the harm in that, right? Now, there is one exception to this, and that is to do with morality. So, and I've spoken about this before. When you have a lucid dream, you need to be pretty careful because when you decide what to do in a dream, it's almost the same as deciding what to do in waking life. Although there's no physical consequences when you wake up, there are consequences in terms of your subconscious mind. It does affect you. So I would say it probably would be considered a sin from a religious point of view if you had a lucid dream about doing something bad or doing something against your particular religion. Even though it's a dream, it's, and again, this is a gray area. There'll be people within, you know, most religions who agree and who disagree on this. So, and, and also depending on the religion, they will also disagree and agree with each other about this as well. But in my opinion, you know, when you decide to do something, that's when something would be a sin or not a sin. So it's the act of deciding what to do. If you have a dream that, where you're not lucid and you do something bad, <laughs> Let's say you steal something or you whatever. If, it, if you're not lucid, then no harm done because you, you're not in control of your subconscious mind as much as you'd like to be. It's really just um, a random kind of thing. You can't really control it. However, if you are lucid, then you do have some degree of control. You can, to a certain degree, control what you do and you can decide to either do something or to not do something. So if you have a lucid dream and then you decide to go and you know, have a fight with someone or kill someone or whatever in the dream, as far as I'm concerned, that's pr pr almost the same as doing it in real life. The intention was there and the subconscious consequences will be there. It will have a, an effect on your psyche, on your subconscious mind, and the memory of doing that is as real as if you had done it in waking life. The memory will still be the same to your brain, at least, you have done the thing, even if you haven't done it physically in waking life. Right, so I hope that makes sense. And please, I would love to hear a huge debate in the comments from different religious perspectives about what you think about this. Like, uh, you know, do you agree with me or do you disagree and why?